What's up YouTube, I'm Lex and welcome back to episode 2 of the 3 Minute Masterclass. Today with the help of Squarespace, I'm be taking you through the lat pull down. This is a classic big back builder in the gym, but I'm going to show you some very simple tips and tricks to make this immediately feel better and develop those gains and prevent imbalances and injuries. I might even be a wizard. Let's crack on. Start right, finish right, start wrong, stay wrong. Here's how you'll see it done incorrectly, often in the gym. A lot of rounded shoulders, dipping chest, swinging through. Let's run it back. Take a look at the error points at the base of this movement. Here we have an overall aggressive lean with the entire body, which makes it no longer a pull down. It's more like a bastardized row at this point. Take a look at those shoulders. Scapula disengaged, allows the chest to dip, shoulders to roll forward, and anything that you had going on the back is now being lost because, take a look at where the hands are, you can see that the wrists are curling over because the bar is coming now too low, you're engaging forearms, you're gonna get some wrist pain. It's overall sucks as a movement to develop the back. So make sure if you see this happening that you stop and correct because lifting from A to B is completely different from just shifting it from A to B. So here's how you fix it. We're gonna take a look at a setup that involves scapula engagement. So with the torso upright, bar held just above the head, you're gonna engage your scapula. Take a look at this. This means rolling the shoulders back and locking them in place. Think about locking your back. Here's just pulling back compared to rolling back the shoulders. See how much more engagement there is in that back. Top tip here as well, add in a little bit of an elbow roll. Roll those elbows in like you'd be doing a back bicep pose. You can see it here, engage the back muscle immediately. You'll feel this, and when you put it all together, roll the elbows in, scapula engaged, you're gonna pull through, and then you're gonna clear your head out from under the bar by tucking the chin and leaning back ever so slightly, keeping your chest high, exposing it to the bar, but the chest doesn't need to touch the bar. Arch your lower back, this allows you to expose your chest to the bar, but doesn't require leaning of the body in total. You're gonna to relax your hands with a consistent grip, making sure that you pull from the elbows and not from the hands. This is gonna engage the back from the moment you lift that weight off. It's also gonna encourage you not to curl over with the hands. It's gonna encourage the back to do the lifting rather than bringing those forearms in. Make sure that you're not overly swinging, keep your feet planted and control that core. You want to be controlling the negative on the way up as well, not allowing it to just fly back up at its own will. Do all of these things and you just perfected the pull down. So there you go, take all that information, you now have the power in your hands, put it into practice at the gym, make some notes, make some gains. Let me know in the comments section what else you would like to see and we'll make sure that they get covered and I look forward to doing it with you. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, this series. And if you want to get involved in developing your very own website, maybe for blogging, pictures, videos, puppies, food, funyuns, whatever it may be, they have the system to help you drag, drop and create your own very individual website. And you can use this link here to get a free two week trial plus this code here to get 10% off should you wish to carry it on. So that's everything for this video. Thank you all for watching. I've been Lex. This has been my Mandana. Give it a thumbs up. You deserve a bigger back. I just gave you the tools. Boom, baby.